Today, I turned 19, and with that, I'm entering the final year of my teens. You know, my teens have been a whirlwind phase of my life, to say the very least. You know, I stopped eating meat about four years ago, and last year, I turned vegan. During this time, I also started practicing meditation and through meditation I went from being someone who had a very short fuse, you know, things and people would upset me very fast and even on the tennis court, I would smash my racket and engage in all sorts of bad behavior and it's something which I'm not proud of, especially looking back, but hey, I guess life is all about self-improvement, which is something which I talk a lot about on this channel. And now I feel like I'm someone who's a lot more calm, composed and collected and I'd attribute a great deal of that to practicing meditation on a daily basis because it helps me find calm in the chaos, it helps me find peace and stillness in that moment and you know meditation is not just about those 10 or 15 minutes or however long I'm practicing it for, it's also something which I carry with me throughout the rest of the day and that calmness which I feel in that meditation is something which I feel deep um, inside my soul throughout the remainder of my day. Another thing which happened is guys, we lived through a pandemic, you know the COVID-19 pandemic was so hard on so many of us, especially the fact that we couldn't socialize with other human beings and you know socialization is a massive part of what makes us human and after living through this pandemic, socialization with my friends in person is something which I'll never take for granted ever again and while I know we did have phone calls and zooms and all that kind of stuff, it's just not the same as interacting with other human beings in the same environment and that's also probably why online school was not new nearly as fun as offline school and yes online school was fun for the first like two or three weeks because you know you don't have to commute to school you know you don't have to get stuck in traffic and all that kind of stuff but after those initial two or three weeks it started to get really boring and you know things weren't nearly as fun as they used to be offline that being said a good thing which came out of the COVID-19 pandemic was that I developed a reading habit and I also started listening to podcasts you know I used to despise reading books before the pandemic and I thought that I'm never going to be a reader but I guess the universe had other plans for me and during one of my summer vacations I remember reading about 15 books which was probably more than the number of books I'd read in my entire life leading up to that point unless you count the books that they made you uh, make you read in English class in your school but I'm not sure we're counting those anyway all jokes apart that was definitely a real transformation in my life and it's something which I'm grateful for to this day. Over the last year or so, I've also started to develop a deep interest in music and movies, both of which have enriched my life in a massive way, so I'm very grateful for that. And the last year has been a very interesting one, if I'm being very honest, because there was a point last year where I wasn't in the best headspace. I'm not quite sure how to articulate it, but it definitely was somewhat of a dark phase. And today I can confidently say with my hand on my heart that I'm the happiest I've ever been. You know, I've never been happier in my life and I feel genuinely happy from my heart. So I'm very grateful for the way things have worked out. And you know, last year I also graduated from high school, which was quite nice. And I got to move to my hometown, which is Delhi. And that's been amazing because I get to live so close to family. And getting to spend so much time with the people I love is something which I'll never take for granted. And I'm always going to cherish the moments that we have together. I feel like birthdays are a fantastic opportunity to reflect on this beautiful life. You know, I'm so grateful to God for my health and for blessing me with another trip around the sun. I'm so grateful to you all who make this community what it is and the support that you've shown me over the last few months means everything to me and I promise to keep delivering good quality content moving forward. I'm so grateful to my amazing family, friends and all the beautiful souls who are spreading so much joy in the world and I also wanted to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for your amazing birthday wishes. Finally, I wanted to say that this is just the beginning. You know, we're just getting started and I'm so excited for all the amazing adventures that lie ahead and I'm super stoked for this 20th chapter around the sun. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.